Hello peoples of YouTube and stuff like that. I'm going to show you how to make a drivable vehicle in Minecraft. But first before I show you what I'm just going to kind of show it off, show you what it can do. Now first I just press this button and it's going to clone this little truck over there. Do not mind the random rainbow tunnels and hot air balloons in the background. Okay, so I just hop on in here. If you're wondering what these little this white walls for inside the truck it's just so you can sprint in you know sort of hold down the gas so if I just run forward while on this thing and you get out you can see that my truck has moved because it is driving now what this is all doing is just cloning the truck over to my right way over there and it's cloning that one block in front of my current position which is just doing all this making my, this truck move it's a lava pit and if I keep on going then there's some villages and some iron golems and over there is two little bedrock posts now I'm going to go over here this has nothing to do with the building the truck I'm just saying it's just a little wall that I can show you this truck can bust through. <coughs> Alright, let's get in our little Ford F-150 thingy, my jigger. Probably not one. Now, yeah, the white wall. Just reminding you it's just there so I can sprint. Now I'm going to go full on the gas pedal and ram through this wall. Vroom, 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 vroom. Yes, this is so fun. Ram, I just broke a wall. Yeah, so it, it can break through stuff like that. And just as easy as that, just because of air around this truck that's cloning. And that air just breaks through that wall like that. Anyway. Now, back to show you how it works. Ignore uh, all this random crap I was messing around on this world. <coughs> anyway, back to the truck to show you how, kind of show you how it works. So. This is our template truck. We use our template truck so it can clone it one block in front of our regular truck. Alright, template truck. So, that's the template again. Now, under this little template truck, you have this command block in the template truck. And that command block is very important to this little truck. And you can see it right there. Let's go party. Okay, so um, this right here, these random little numbers are one position in uh, my little thingy, my jigger thing. Yeah, so this coordinate right here. And that other side of numbers I just pointed at, but this, that vanished too fast anyway. And so I'm going to go inside here. Okay, so this little set of numbers right here <coughs> that I will now highlight. Um, shift, arrow, key. There we go. Now, those little numbers are a position that's somewhere around this area that I'm standing or flying hovering, whatever you want to call it. <coughs> now that's the sort of the whole template. Now here's those numbers for the template. Now this is the location, these numbers here are the location of where the truck is being cloned to, which is over there. Demonstration. Press your button and boom, a beautiful freaking tr white truck. That's a very filthy white truck. Alright, so that does that. Now I'm going to go inside this truck and show you this little command block again. Now these little numbers right here are one of the most important parts. Well, everything is pretty important except for the template truck, which you can sort of make anything with the template. It doesn't even have to be a truck. You could make a freaking purple block if you want. So yeah, that goes forward as I already showed you. And don't mind the little buttons when it comes in, the buttons sort of come off and it leaves a little trail. 
Anyway, so it's not letting me get into this command block for some reason. Mm, spamming but right click button. Alright, that's not working for some reason. Let's just go back to the template shop and say this. <coughs> if you're hearing random voices in the background, that is the rest of my family. Anyway, so this little number keeps the truck well, it's one of the numbers that keeps the truck going straight. Without that number, the truck would sort of go diagonally because of the default cloning AI. Well, not really AI, but sort of the default cloning command thingy. A bigger thing. So yeah, it would go diagonal and spawn it in a completely different place than what we wanted to. This little thing, for some reason, when you do clone your truck, or whatever your template is, I'll just say refer to it as template. It'll go one block up for some reason, so that just keeps it on the ground. And the negative three also keeps it straight. Now, um, your little negatives and swirly demonic flying thing numbers are maybe different. Now, I made a little Grass Rider 3000 right here to show you that it doesn't really have to be on the ground and it doesn't have to be a truck. He can be anything. Now this thing was sort of a fail. It was supposed to go all four directions but that didn't work out so now it only goes two. It goes forward and right. Like this in my little grass writer. And it just like the truck it can ram through any freaking thing that you desire. Destroy that ugly little air balloon. <coughs> anyway I think I'm going to end it off about here. If you're wondering what that air balloon is there for, it was just another failure of an aircraft. Anyway, ignore the rainbow tunnel. Um, so I guess I'm just going to end it off about here. And um, give me a few seconds. Yeah. So, this is my little truck template thing. And goodbye. Ba ba ba, epic music.